Durant. Three more for the big fella. The media panicked after Team USA lost two exhibition games. Disrespecting Greg Popovich and my fellow basketball YouTuber was ready to call the EuroLeague's talent superior to the NBA's. This video, I'll be showing you and exposing bad takes about Kevin Durant and Team USA. Stay tuned because recency bias is one hell of a drug. Before continuing, I'm trying to get to know my subscribers, so follow me on Instagram at dflowhoops and I may just give you a follow back. I just posted a Durant clip on there, and I'm going to start posting daily highlights and updates on there as well, so help me get that account to 1k followers, it'd be much appreciated. Now into the content. I get Team USA is supposed to roll through the competition, but I thought it was pretty insane how everyone was disrespecting the competition overseas while at the same time undervaluing the talent of their fellow Americans. It has to be a tad frustrating for the American players that if they win, they get no credit whatsoever, but if they lose, they get shit on. That's why this dunk from Zach Levine at the very end, although some may call it disrespectful, I thought it was very fitting. Don't get me wrong, it was surprising when Team USA lost two exhibition games to Nigeria and Australia, but the reactionary takes you're about to see from personalities getting paid millions to provide analysis are rooted in utter hysteria. Right now, if I had to bet my house on it, I'd keep my house and wouldn't place a bet at all when it comes down to Team USA. Well, well, first of all, Greg Popovich got to address Greg Popovich because he's been falling off like leaves in the wintertime, okay? As far as how worrisome this is, it's very worrisome because you know the players, after getting beaten by Nigeria, a country we had beaten, what, a few years ago by 80-something? You know they were embarrassed and they wanted to come out and make a statement against Australia. And instead, we get beaten again. But this is worrisome because I'm gonna tell you, Damian Lillard and Kevin Durant combined to shoot 10 of 20 on three pointers in this game. That's supposed to be a win. Oh, it's more than moderately concerning. And let me defend Joe Varden, who was the reporter there that was the subject of Greg Popovich's scorn. First of all, you know the most concerning part of that whole little uh, press conference was when Greg Popovich was able to reference Joe Varden's question from the last time the U.S. lost as a massive favorite two days ago. He's like, ah, we went over this two days ago. Yeah, buddy, we did. That's why there's the concern here. <laughs> These media figures all have one thing in common. Their takes are based around stirring up the narrative instead of being rooted in facts. I'm going to show you the most reactionary yes. take of them all coming up, but good on Kevin Durant, Jason Tatum, Drew Holiday, and their entire squad for proving those media members wrong. Specifically, it was KD proving the haters dead wrong. There's a good portion of fans who were saying Durant wasn't capable of leading a team by himself, but putting Team USA on his back and leading them to gold in Tokyo, Kevin Durant further proved what was already cemented as a fact, which is that he's certifiably the most talented hooper in the world right now. Giannis Dedekupo is the greatest slasher and defender of this generation. I've mentioned that in multiple videos, but to carry a team individually, you need three-level scoring. That's no disrespect to Giannis. I ranked him one spot ahead of LeBron in my top 10 players video recently. Kevin Durant can get buckets at will from any area on the floor. He can sauce you up on the perimeter. He can back you down and fade away from 15. He can attack the bucket with abandon. As Stephen A. Smith would say, he can pull up from 30. No, Durant's not the defensive player that the Greek freak is. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is that KD deserves our respect for being the bona fide killer that he is. If you're a Durant hater, forget his ring chasing for a split second and take into account KD just proudly carried his nation to the top of the podium. Along with being a two-time NBA champion, Durant's now a three-time gold medalist, and this one was in large part due to his contributions. I don't know why people disrespect the talent in the EuroLeague and overseas, but it's not a walk in the park to beat the rest of the world's basketball talent. But it's a well-known fact that the most dominant Olympic basketball team on any given year, it's almost always the US, but the rosters that win gold always have the best NBA players on them. 
So you would have thought that the top basketball talking heads would unanimously agree that the NBA was the most talented league across the world. That should be a fact. Everybody should agree with that, right? Well, after Team USA lost those exhibition games, MJ2K all day had a different take. I usually enjoy MJ's videos, but I can't lie, this one got under my skin. Hold up. Team USA lost? Nani? Hey yo, what the f- Y'all realize that's the first time they've lost in the Olympics since 2004. <laughs> Losing exhibition games, that ain't supposed to matter that much either. Until you realize that they've been 54-1 and in exhibition games since 1992. And this year, they lost two of them. They lost two of them. That ain't supposed to matter that much. Like, what am I even watching? Evan Fournier dogging 10 All-Stars? <laughs> Talent only goes so far. There's a reason why players who have played for Team USA in the past have talked about adjusting to international play. But the NBA has turned into an offensive hungry league. It's why Lucas said that it was easier to score in the NBA than in Europe. I mean, how can you even argue with that? The man is literally top six in scoring in the NBA. That man can say whatever he wants. One L for the NBA. The best league in the world, at least right? 50k views on every video, and this is coming from someone who's been in that position before and lost it. One of the many things I've learned from my downfall is that when you have that type of significant exposure as an NBA YouTuber, you have a responsibility to provide logic-based opinions. No hate to MJ, keep doing your thing. Obviously, you have way more subs than me, but don't forget, NBA players are human too, so they're surfing YouTube as well, and I have no doubt a player or two on Team USA caught a peek or was at least suggested that 2K all day video. Point is, let's make the reputation of NBA YouTubers better than ESPN talking heads. Anyways, all the takes you've seen today probably led Durant to post this video after winning gold. We're grinding for this one. We're going to go up the stairs. Everybody who said we were going to take the L, they had, a, they had some power rankings on. Kendrick Perkins, you talk a lot of shit. We a lot of shit. They had some, Act like you American. <laughs> they had some power rankings out. They had us four. Behind us, Slovenia. Like, like this is not our game. Come on, man. Oh, Talking about they catching up to us. Like, are you serious? This skill is unmatched. You dig? Shout out to everybody that won this gold. Everybody that chipped in and helped out. We wanted to press cons, but I had to talk my shit real quick. Big congrats to every one of the most talented players on earth for Team USA. Big ups to France for putting up a fight in the gold medal game. But America remains the most dominant part of the globe to breed basketball talent.